Welcome to the USF Polytechnic Tutorial, How to Add References into RefWorks and Create a Bibliography. There are two ways to enter your references into RefWorks. One is by importing directly from some online databases. The second way is to manually enter the references. There are several databases that have a direct import to RefWorks feature. EBSCOhost, Informal World, LexisNexis, ProQuest, and WilsonWeb are just a few with this feature. For this tutorial, we are going to assume we have already conducted our database search. We'll use LexisNexis for this example. The other databases will import in a similar way. Select the records you want to import. We will select these three records. Click on the book icon in the top right corner of the results list. Verify your import choices, tagged documents, and click on export. If you are already logged into your RefWorks account in another browser, the citations will automatically import. If you are not logged into RefWorks, you will be prompted to log in. Once you log in, the citations will automatically import. You will receive a message stating your import completed once all citations have finished importing into RefWorks. You can view these citations by clicking on View Last Imported Folder. Here are your references. Make sure to check your citations when using the import feature. RefWorks just reads the information provided by the databases, so you should proofread each citation's fields such as author, title, and periodical name. So what happens if you want to enter a citation from a database that does not have the direct import feature, or if you want to enter a citation from a book or website? RefWorks allows you to manually enter a reference. For this example, we will assume we have already conducted our search and use the Emerald database. From RefWorks, add Select New Reference from the References drop-down menu. Select which format you will use in the drop-down menu. For this example, I will use APA 6. RefWorks has a feature called AccuCite, which displays a green checkmark next to the fields most used for a specific output style. The checks show you which fields you should fill in when manually entering a citation. You may not have all the information for every field, but this will provide a good guideline for entering reference information. If you would like to add this citation to a specific folder, select the folder in the Folders drop-down menu. I will save this one to my Management folder. You can put references in multiple folders by selecting them one at a time. To remove a folder, just click on it a second time. RefWorks allows you to save many different types of references. This example is a journal article, so I will select journal article in the ref type drop-down menu. When you select a reference type, the screen will refresh to display the correct fields and provide green check marks for the recommended fields. Next, you will need to select a source type. When you select a source type, you need to select the source you are citing, not necessarily where you got the reference information. This article is from a print source. Next, select an output language. The output language is the language the actual reference is written in. Here we will leave it set for English. The attachment option allows you to attach files. You can only attach files after the citation has been saved. Next, we will enter the author information. Some references may not have an author. If this is the case, you can skip this field. Enter the author name last name, comma, first name. If there are multiple authors, separate each author with a semicolon. Continue entering the information on this article. You can use the copy and paste feature to help save time.
Once you have finished entering the information, click the Save Reference button at the top of the page. Once you have saved a citation that you entered manually, you will automatically be brought into the edit mode. This allows you to check your reference information and make any corrections or add any attachments. If your information looks correct, you can move on to your next task in RefWorks. To view your citation, select the folder from the View Folder drop-down menu at the top of the page. I will select my Management folder. This is the standard view of your reference. Click the View link to the right of your reference you just entered to see the full details. If you need to make any changes, you would click on the Edit link. Next, we will format a bibliography from a list of references in RefWorks. This feature allows you to quickly generate a bibliography using specific folder or all of your references saved in RefWorks. Click on the Bibliography button in the top menu. There are several different formats available to create a bibliography. Select the format from the Output Style drop-down menu. We are going to use APA 6th edition for our bibliography. Next, select the radio button next to Format a Bibliography from a list of references. Choose the file type to create by selecting the format from the drop-down menu. We will be creating our bibliography in Word for Windows. Now, select the references you want included in your bibliography. You can select all references, create a list, or select a specific folder. Let's use all the references in the Career Center folder. Click on the Create Bibliography button. Your formatted bibliography will open in a new window. If the bibliography does not open, click on the Download It link. You can also email the document to yourself by clicking on the Email It link. Here is your bibliography. You can copy and paste your bibliography directly into your paper from this file, or from here you can save it or close it. You can always recreate the bibliography or create it in different formats by changing the output style.